Council Room 2021. Welcome to the Road Trip Supernatural Style panel. And man, isn't it great to be able to say 2021. I love those numbers. Um, and even the idea of taking a trip. It's been so long since uh, we've even talked about taking a trip. But in this session, we're going to talk about taking uh, uh, a road trip, which is one of my favorite subjects. Uh, it's something that I have done all of my life, taking road trips. And we're gonna cover how to do a short socially distanced road trip that you can actually do right now. And then also how to plan a longer, uh, more full road trip later uh, when the open road is finally fully open once again. So again, welcome. I'm Mary Wilkie, owner of Wayward Nerd. It's an online travel magazine geared towards nerds. And I'm joining you today from my home office here in Minnesota. Uh, snowy, great north, uh, cold Minnesota. Uh, prior to Wayward Nerd, I was a road warrior for AAA. Uh, I wrote the tour books and I did that for nearly 20 years, spending about 200 nights a year on the road. So um, very familiar with the road trip. And my family had been doing road trips um, uh, as I was growing up as well. So a whole lifetime of uh, taking road trips. So right now the gas prices are low which is a great time uh, to do a road trip. And uh, with the boys' adventures on TV having uh, stopped, at least the new adventures stopped, um, we can still watch them every day. Uh, and with us being in varying degrees of uh, isolation currently, uh, depending on where you live and what your situation is, um, with all of these factors, it's a great time to take a really quick uh, road trip um, just to get us to, uh, to ease back into the idea of travel, but also to extend our desires to um, join the boys on their adventures. And of course, the rest of the Scooby gang as well. Uh, so we're going to try to do all of that by hitting the open road. Okay, so what is a road trip? What makes a road trip supernatural road trip? Uh, one type would be to drive to one of the towns or cities that is mentioned in the show and take a photo of yourself um, in front of the town signage and post that either on um, any kind of social media or even if you just want it for yourself. Another type would be to do a theme trip um, and you can include LARPing in that. Um, you can do full on cosplay. Uh, you know, pick a theme from one of the episodes or a theme within an episode. Um, and uh, of course there's the ultimate, which is the visiting the actual filming locations. And that would be uh, a longer trip. So we're gonna focus on uh, a half a tank of gas version of a road trip first. So think of this one as a destination lunch. Um, it's a variation on a one day trip. Um, that limits the amount of context you have. So you can do it now uh, in, it's, it's a super flexible trip that you can do with whatever level of social distancing you are currently doing. And you can even do it in the middle of winter as long as the weather is good that day. Um, and so even though it takes some planning ahead of time, uh, it can be, hey, the weather is great, let's go. Uh, once you've already planned it out, you don't necessarily have to pick a date. Um, all right, so the idea is you go somewhere within a half a tank of gas. Therefore, uh, you can go there and back again uh, without having to go to a gas station to fill up with gas. So you're skipping that uh, contact. It is a destination lunch, so you're going to pick a place to go and eat. Um, and that should be outside or a park or um, something, again, that would be outside. Uh, so you're also skipping um, those contacts or you're, you're um, controlling the amount of contact that you have. So with the elements of a road trip, we need to research, we need to plan, and then we're going to map it. 
Um, so first you wanna ch uh, choose the location or the theme. So in this case, uh, you're gonna do something um, nearby within a couple hours, or as we say, a half a tank of gas. So uh, for those of you that are joining us for council room the first, uh, for the first time, uh, since this is on YouTube, I know that we'll probably get a few viewers that are, are not aware of uh, this convention. Council Room is a Doctor Who convention that uh, occurs in Minnesota. This year for 2021, we are actually virtual. Uh, so uh, a little bit of the, the location list that I'm gonna talk about is in Minnesota, Wisconsin, but you can do any that are uh, near your, wherever you are um, uh, dialing in from. Um, so even if you are international, what you can do is um, if the boys go to say Stillwater, Minnesota in their um, episode that you're choosing, but there's a Stillwater in wherever you are, if it's Michigan or if you're up in Canada and, th and you there's a Stillwater town somewhere nearby, you can still do that because you're still gonna take the picture at the sign and you're still gonna have your destination lunch. So just kind of have to be flexible to make it work for you wherever you are and whatever uh, variation of stay at home you're in and restrictions from your, your uh, city or state. So, uh, choosing a location, there is um, a sortable list on Wayward Nerd uh, up through season 11. Um, there are also uh, lists on Wikipedia and uh, Super Supernatural Wikipedia, um, the Super Wiki, I think it's called. And also Google Maps has uh, a map with some locations on it. Uh, basically, Google, you, you'll be able to find it. Uh, so here are some of the ones that uh, I pulled out for Minnesota and Wisconsin. Blue Earth, Cold Spring, Cottage Grove, and the Cottage Grove episode also mentions Woodbury. Um, the uh, deputy is looking for a woodpecker costume in Woodbury. Duluth, Elk River, Hibbing, Minneapolis, Stillwater, and Wyndham. Uh, and then also nearby in Wisconsin, uh, there's Grantsburg and Menominee. There's also quite a few other ones in Wisconsin, but Grantsburg and Menominee are, are the ones that are, are a little bit closer. Um, so once you've, you've chosen your location, then you have to research uh, the availability of takeout restaurants and pie places along the way, because those are the two things that you, know, you want for your lunch, definitely the pie and then whatever lunch you're choosing. Um, uh, if you're in an area outside of Minnesota or if you're planning your uh, road trip that's a little bit longer um, uh, for later, um, Google Impala restaurants, because there's a few Impala restaurants out there. Uh, I think there's an Impala Cantina and Bar in California. And so that's a little bit fun where you can add that kind of into, um, into your trip. So again, you're gonna research um, the availability of the restaurants and pie both at your destination and along the route. So even if there isn't one at the destination, there might be one along the route that will work. And then we're gonna map it out. Um, and we're gonna map it out uh, with the stops as well. And um, this is a good time too, to take a minute to do a little sidebar. Plus I'm gonna take a drink of my, uh, my cup of ambition uh, from the movie Nine to Five. So this session is being recorded ahead of time. Um, and I put out on social media um, that, that I was doing the, the panel. And if anybody had any comments or questions to add along, and we got a comment, a really great comment from Terry in California, which is about the availability of bathrooms during the pandemic. Um, so bathrooms are ultra important to road trips, uh, planning them out, whether it's a pandemic or not. Uh, first of all, always go to the bathroom moments before you get in the car uh, on a road trip. Um, the last thing you do uh, before you lock the apartment or the house and get in the car is go to the bathroom. Uh, second, you need to know where your bathrooms are. Uh, on, a, on a trip that I took a while back from Albuquerque to Roswell, uh, I decided to go the long way around and go past uh, down the county road past the area that supposedly the crash uh, uh, happened. And it was two hours without a bathroom, not even a rest, uh, a rest stop or a gas station. Um, and so, and I'm not a gas station bathroom person, but sometimes needs must. 
Um, but uh, normally I would stop at a Starbucks uh, or at, uh, you know, even a McDonald's or something like that where uh, the bathrooms are cleaned uh, often. However, now that we're in this uh, COVID year, uh, pandemic year, it's, a lot of these places are not open or if they are open, they're open for takeout and the bathrooms are not available. And in some states, in some cities, in some counties, um, the uh, public restrooms at parks are not open. So this is something that you kind of have to plan ahead. Uh, we are lucky in Minnesota because you really can't go more than uh, about 10 or 20 miles and you're gonna hit a target. Um, so the restrooms are open at Target. So that might be something that you wanna Google is uh, where there's Targets or Walmarts or something like that, that you can stop and do the bathroom. So, uh, so again, thank you, Terry, for the comment. Uh, excellent. Um, so then uh, we've mapped it out. We've mapped out our stops. Print the map. Um, if you're doing it on Google Maps or um, any of the other map uh, things, or if it's on paper map, um, you want to pack something paper uh, to go along with your, your route on your phone. Uh, because in some of the more rural areas, uh, well, internet's going to be more than spotty, but also cell service. Um, even if there's cell service there, it may not match with your cell service. So it's always good to have the paper backup. All right, so let's go on to deciding about food and drinks. Um, you, can, you can do takeout at a burger place, Dean style. Uh, and because um, almost all the places now, you know, have great curbside um, takeout where it's completely contactless. In fact, one uh, that I did recently uh, at a burger place, you wound down the side uh, passenger side window and they just literally put it in the car. It was no contact at all. So you could do that or you can pack your own um, picnic style lunch. Um, we can do... Sam style with the health quake shaker salad. And I got this at Target. It is just a mason jar. And then you now have where you put the dressing in separate and it, it sits right in and it's all in one. And Supernatural Cookbook um, actually has uh, some recipes in it. One for the, the salad uh, and um, a couple other ones that are great for road trips to pack, um, like the trail mix that the boys did for, I think it was the Wendigo episode. Um, and, you know, they did M&Ms, so I have my, my M&Ms to go in the car. Um, and then, of course, uh, you can't forget the pie. So you can either do, again, takeout along the way. Um, almost all diners have an apple pie that you can, you can do to go or a slice of pie to go. Um, or you can make your own. And so these are hand pies that I made that are apple, apple hand pies. And then I just do them in wax paper and a Ziploc baggie and they can get packed. And how I made these is with an apple pie hand pie mold. And so I got this one at um, Crate and Barrel. And then let's not forget about the snacks. So even if you're doing takeout, you wanna have some snacks in the car. And so I love um, the, uh, these collapsible ones that are, uh, available at uh, REI and they fit perfectly in your um, cup holder. And so one thing, um, that I did recently uh, on a trip, actually it was last year for um, uh, New Zealand. I did a five day road trip. Um, uh, I packed, this is my um, picnic basket utensils uh, container. And we have these, um, if you go to the Wayward Nerd website under um, 
nerd, nerdy buys, um, there is a urban camping section. And so uh, there's a link to these for on Amazon. And so these are things that you, you'll you need along with, with um, doing your takeout is uh, utensils. So uh, what I love about this, I actually bought this at Target and it goes into my case, is it's um, a cutting board and the knife is in it. Uh, so um, that's a great thing. And when I was at uh, New Zealand doing my Middle Earth road trip for about five days, between the, dis um, the collapsible cups, and this one right now has my pretzels in it, uh, and the cutting board, I was able to do um, uh, apples and uh, we'd stop every morning at the farmer's market and get different types of fruit and uh, breads and things like that. Uh, and we would able to just have snacks in the car. So also in this uh, container is um, utensils. So it has a spot here for your, your silverware, but I replaced the boring silverware that is normally in here and uh, replaced it with a uh, lightsaber Star Wars uh, silverware. And also you have to have your uh, Clorox wipes, your antibacterial wipes. And then I also have uh, wet ones too to go with it. And hand sanitizer. This one is by Norseman uh, Distillery here in Minneapolis. And I like this one because it's called Loki Lather. A little bit of Loki for Supernatural. You know, you have to have that, uh, the trickster. And then I also do a uh, little mints in here and, um, uh, and a toothbrush. Um, uh, with toothpaste, just in case I do do the Dean style lunch uh, with the burger and some and some uh, onions in there. And then you want to think of, um, you know, where are you going to sit? So you've got all of your food, you've decided where what you're going to eat, but where are you going to sit? If it's on a park bench, especially in the winter, I like to pack, it's, it comes up in a nice little roll and it's a inflatable seat cushion and you just breathe into the little thing and it, it pops up. But this is great because it will, it's a barrier between you and the, in the cold seat. And if the seat is a little bit wet, this is waterproof. And so um, makes it a little bit more comfortable and they're super lightweight. Um, and then also you can do a, um, a uh, travel blanket or a picnic blanket type of thing. And so one part of this uh, will be uh, somewhat waterproof. Um, not perfectly waterproof, but at least a little bit. And then you have to think about um, how you're gonna pack it all. And so for, for this particular convention, um, I like my Hunter um, backpack which Hunter for uh, We Hunt Things uh, and Save People, the family business, but also it is TARDIS blue. So it's kind of a little bit of both with the, uh, it's not quite super who lock, but it's certainly super who. And then uh, for the cooler, if I'm gonna do um, uh, beverages and water, and you should always have water in the car uh, with any road trip is another Hunter that I got uh, which is rubber. And so this will hold uh, cold packs uh, or uh, any of that. And actually this is a good place to do just a little bit of a PSA from my mother um, who uh, wants me to remind everyone um, that you need to have a emergency road kit in your car. So uh, because I spent so much time on the road uh, with AAA, I have a large one. And because I live in Minnesota and part of my territory was Canada, uh, I have a emergency roadside service kit um, that also includes a collapsible um, shovel. Because uh, you never know when you're going to need that. But if I am flying, okay, so this kit, this larger one, you can get at the AAA travel store um, in St. Louis Park inside the AAA office, or some of them you can get at Target as well, and of course, Amazon. And then if I am flying somewhere uh, and then taking a rental car for the road trip, 
um, I do, uh, I pack this into my suitcase, which is my own version of somewhere of a cross between an emergency um, road kit and um, a first aid kit. And so this one also has a battery uh, or not a battery, um, a light um, a flashlight. It does also have batteries in here too. Uh, and um, a little uh, tiny uh, duct tape, uh, portable duct tape, trash bags, um, emergency blanket uh, that you may need, um, uh, band-aids, uh, also uh, bug repellent, just so, so it's a cross between a roadside emergency kit and a first aid kit, and this can go in my suitcase, and then it goes into the rental car uh, for, for when I um, am on the road. So, uh, all right, so I did my PSA uh, for my mom. And okay, so now we, um, we have all the food, we know where we're going, uh, we've decided what we're packing. Now let's just up it a little bit and add some enhancements. Um, so then we have baby. So most of the road trips that I take with Wayward Nerd, I bring a Lego um, and it adds a little bit of, um, a depth to any pictures I take. So it, it gives you an idea. It's instead of just a woods, if I have a Lego of an Ewok, it's the, where the filming location for the Ewok woods was. Um, and so this way, okay, so that we have baby to put in pictures. And then also um, one of the DVD releases, they gave you a um, baby keychain, And uh, so of course I have my car key on that. And then, what to wear. So uh, for sure you can do costume, uh, cosplay. Um, you can choose to wear whatever flannel shirt that they were wearing in that episode. And a lot of us have a closet full of flannel shirts. So you can go with that kind of method, uh, fandom, or just simply a t-shirt. There's a couple different you know, types that you can do. Driver picks the music, of course. Um, something more along, you know, what the stands have uh, for um, charity. Uh, this one was given out um, at San Diego Comic-Con uh, to um, the attendees of the Supernatural panel. Uh, and actually it has a really cool, I, I, you might be able to find these on eBay, but it has a really cool um, uh, like concert t-shirt vibe to it of all of the, um, uh, panels that they did at San Diego on the back up until that year. And then uh, we have the t-shirt the that I'm wearing, which is uh, a wayward nerd t-shirt for um, Supernatural. Uh, and it was part of a contest we did a couple of years ago. And we actually have these for sale because um, we're closing them out and you can find them on our eBay page. Um, so eBay wayward nerd. And because you're gonna print out your route and maybe the different things that you are uh, thinking about along the way, um, bring your own John's journal. And uh, of course I've got the, the maps in here as well that I may need as well. It, it, in, in addition to the ones that I've, I made on um, a mapping software and you know printed out the different locations. I also have the paper maps too to go with it. All right, so now we have to think about uh, the last two things uh, that you wanna do for um, uh, your trip is what episodes to watch the night before. So that's really gonna be based on um, where you're going and uh, uh, how many times that they go to that location. Uh, is which episodes you're going to watch the night before. And then the last thing um, to do uh, is make your playlist. So I make a playlist for uh, every road trip I do, a special playlist. I also make a playlist for every convention I go to. So you'll be able to find some of our playlists um, on Wayward on Spotify for Wayward Nerd. Uh, and we have made a special um, supernatural road trip playlist uh, for this and for this panel, as well as a um, playlist for Council Room 2021. And what we do with the convention uh, playlists are 
things that make me think of the area that we're at as far as the convention, plus things that are going on in the convention. And I use them to listen to while I'm packing to get ready to go. Uh, in this case, with virtual conventions, I do it um, as I'm getting ready uh, to go live or to sit down and, and watch. Um, I listen to them in between the panels. Uh, so like San Diego Comic-Con released um, uh, little sound bites of their announcements like No Running and Hall H. And so I threw that in my playlist. Um, Hawaii Con, I added Hawaiian music, obviously, to that playlist. Um, so so they're, they're an eclectic blend of things that make me think of the convention. Or it, sometimes it's even things that occurred at a convention in the past of that one that I just kind of want to remember. But for the Supernatural Road Trip um, uh, playlist, you want to think of, first of all, driver picks the music. And that is a must. It's just simply passive versus active. Uh, the driver needs to not zone out. Um, and so that's why uh, the driver picks the music. Uh, second thing is uh, your playlist should include songs that involuntarily make you reach over and turn the volume up. Uh, and it, you, it needs to, to um, have songs that keep it interesting. Uh, one way to do that is to do covers. Uh, instead of doing a specific song by a specific, you know, band, do somebody that covered it because that's, it's something that you recognize, but it's a little bit different and it can keep you a little interested there. Also, there are sing-alongs, any song that you like to sing out loud um, and sing out loud loud because uh, you're in the car. That's a great one to, to throw in a couple of those. And don't forget about theme music. Um, so the length now should be pretty close to the equal to the time to the destination. Uh, so then that way um, you're listening to it in order on the way to the destination. But then on the way back, um, after you've had your destination lunch, just hit shuffle. And so even though it's the same music, it's a little different because you don't know what's coming next. So again, it'll keep you active. Um, also, you want to think about uh, including episode music. So whatever the music in that episode was. Um, and so one example, Hibbing. There was two, two Hibbing episodes, but one particular is Hibbing uh, 911. So Hibbing, Minnesota is the birthplace of Bob Dylan. So number one, you want to add Bob Dylan songs. But actually in that episode, as Baby is driving down the road, um, they're playing the song, The Weight, which is by the band which was the backup band for Bob Dylan. So that was Supernatural's nod to Bob, D Bob Dylan in that particular episode. So also uh, Jason Mann and um, uh, Jensen did a cover of The Weight on one of their um, albums. And so you could do both the actual band song and do the cover song and throw those both in. Um, in addition, in that episode, um, they referenced Cripple Creek, which is another song by the band. Um, and it was a uh, reference to an address. It was on Cripple Creek Road. So uh, that would be another thing to add in there. And uh, I'm just going to read off a couple more suggestions uh, just in case for, for those that uh, aren't able to get on Spotify. Although Spotify, you can go and look at it. It is, it is um, there is a free aspect to it. But here's just some other suggestions for Supernatural. And you're going to recognize most of these. Um, of course, Kansas, Carry On My Wayward Son, uh, Renegade, Stranglehold, Immigrant Song, Crazy Train, uh, Look At You by um, Screaming Trees. That was in one particular episode, a specifically memorable Sam episode. Uh, Simple Man. Uh, and then also uh, Jason Manns does a Simple Man cover, uh, but Simple Man is Leonard Skinner. Um, uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, uh, which is a seminal uh, supernatural song because it was one of the first episodes where they switched into having, you know, music just be absolutely woven into the fabric of the show. Um, and then don't forget the, um, the musicals. Uh, the, the, the songs that they did from the musical episode. Um, and Can't Find My Way Back Home, that's another one. 
uh, also uh, Rob Benedict's band, Loud and Swain. And um, uh, if you can find it, um, it's out there. I do have it on the Spotify list, which is Fare Thee Well, which was the uh, song that uh, Rob Benedict's character, um, uh, Chuck slash God, uh, played in one particularly memorable episode. Uh, so those are just some ideas of um, playlist songs that you can add to, you know, basically any supernatural road trip. Um, uh, and then you just, you know, refine it from there. Okay, so uh, we've just done our destination lunch, uh, where it's a half a day trip. And um, uh, we, we did all of the things there. So now let's talk about some of the other types of road trips you can do. We can do a theme trip. Uh, one one uh, type or one uh, uh, theme that you can look at is Donna episodes. So Donna episodes tend to occur actually in the Twin Cities. There's a few outside of it, but most were either Stillwater or Cottage Grove. Um, even the Cottage Grove, again, they mentioned Woodbury. Uh, and so the other thing is Donna tends to say flying fudge. Uh, so what a great snack to um, pack for a Donna episode would be uh, flying fudge. Uh, and if we wanted to get really specific, we could do a recreation of a one particular episode, which is her first one uh, where she goes, it's in Stillwater, Minnesota, and she's going to the spa. Uh, so there are spas in Stillwater and there is a spa that is an overnight. Uh, so you can do an, uh, uh, a weekend trip, do an overnight at the spa. In that particular one, you have to pack the salted caramel pudding because that was kind of uh, specific in the show. Uh, do the spa treatment. Um, I don't know if you need to do the cupping spa treatment, but, you know, do a spa treatment. Um, and, you know, I mean, that's, that's a, a, a lot of fun type of LARPing there, uh, going to the spa. And then of course you have to do the morning yoga and it's, I will feel bad for any yoga instructor, uh, after that episode, because the, none of them are going to, um, equal to, uh, seeing Sam slash Jared, uh, being the instructor for yoga. Um, so that would be the type of Donna epi theme episode that you could do, uh, make a trip out of to the spa in Stillwater. Again, if you don't, if you can't make it to Stillwater, Minnesota, Stillwater anywhere. Uh, another uh, theme uh, trip that you can do, road trip, is to Lawrence, Kansas. And for some, that would be kind of a pilgrimage. Um, and I did a Lawrence, Kansas trip uh, a little a while ago. And uh, it was actually before the pandemic. And I did a virtual run, uh, which is the baby 6.7K. I'm holding this up to the camera because the detail of this metal is amazing, even down to the, um, the bumper stickers. I can get a little closer so you can see the bumper stickers. And so the idea of a virtual race for those who are, are not familiar with it. Um, uh, and I also did a panel for Council Room 2021 on um, virtual uh, running events, which is um, staying fit, staying nerdy, and staying at home. Uh, but a virtual race is a running race um, that is done wherever you choose to do it and when you choose to do it. So it's not a fixed time and place. So with the baby 6.7K, I chose to do it in Lawrence, Kansas. And I actually did the, the kilometers on the KU campus, uh, which was featured in a couple of the episodes. So then to round out that weekend, um, I also, uh, and to uh, reward myself for doing the miles, um, I did apple pie at Lady Bird Cafe. And then uh, the next morning, of course I did a burger at a burger joint that night. Uh, and then the next morning I went to a restaurant called Wake the Dead and uh, had a very Dean-esque uh, breakfast, which was the Death Star breakfast sandwich. And I'm actually going to read it to you because it's quite something. It's an unglazed donut bun with egg, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, sriracha, aioli, and side of curly fries. And that's breakfast. Uh, so the Death Star breakfast. Um, 
uh, at Wake the Dead um, place. And that's in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, all right, and then one other uh, type of road trip that you can do is the ultimate, which would be going to the filming locations. And that is in Vancouver, BC. Um, and that uh, you can, there, you know, after 15 years of filming locations, that can be as small or as large a trip you want that one to be. Um, and then, you know, also just with the 15 years of the boys being on the road, we just have plenty of options of different types of road trips in different places that we can go um, and different ways to actually create those trips. And so hopefully um, you guys can take advantage of doing some of these, uh, either whether they're solo or with some other people, but uh, being able to get back on the road uh, and be socially distanced, of course, during this time. Uh, or just to plan it for, for a, a future trip. So again, this presentation was recorded um, before the convention, but during throughout the Council Room 2021 convention, I will be on Discord uh, for the whole weekend. So I'd love for you to, to reach out and let me know uh, what you thought of the presentation, but also um, if you've done any road trips yourself for Supernatural in particular, uh, where you went and what you did. I want to hear about that. And uh, again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, please check out my other panels. Uh, as I mentioned, I did Staying Fit and Nerdy While at Home and the Fandom Cookbooks panel. But I also have Distance Conning, Making Your Virtual Con Feel More Real uh, and Navigating Nerdy Events in a Virtual Age. Um, and then as well, uh, a Discord conversation panel, uh, Traveling with the Doctor. Um, and then don't, also don't forget to stop by the virtual vending area. Uh, you can get that on council room website and also on Discord. Uh, and then for more information about traveling the nerdy universe, check out um, our website at www.waywardnerd.com. And um, I'm going to thank you again. And then just give you a little... Uh, supernatural road trip playlist inspiration um, as we leave. And um, so I'll just say Alanzi and play a little bit of uh, the brothers guitar theme music. <laughs> Thank you.